Pisces and Scorpio, what's going on, y'all? Let's get into it. Happy Libra season. Before I get too deep into this, let me tell y'all, I removed the transitional planets, Jupiter and Saturn, from out the horoscope readings. I discern that y'all should focus more on the personal planets because this is more of a personal thing, and then go focus on transitional matters. So you can hit me up instagram at benjamin boggs if you got questions or you can get in the comment section and ask me a question about transitional planets depending on how much you ask i will answer you know what i'm saying as long as it ain't a reading so let's get into it though it's libra season so the sun the luminary is representative of focus it influences focus it doesn't force you to focus however it's there it's looming and you'll feel it so the sign is the expression, right? The sign is Libra. Libra represents balance, recipro reciprocity, ah, and uh, terms, coming to terms, coming to terms and agreements, right? Terms and conditions. So we can weigh this thing out. What are the pros and the cons? How do we make this fair? That's what is being expressed. That's what the focus of expression is on right now. Now, the difference is though, you are two different signs and therefore you have two different houses that the sign Libra is in. Therefore, the result will be different for y'all. So when y'all think that y'all making plans, this, that, and the third, God may have other plans. If you're not on the same accord that God is on, then your plans won't come into fruition. Now, how do you figure out what's God's plan? You listen to this? That's why you're here. I'm not saying I'm God. I'm just saying I'm telling you what God has in store for you too starting with the focus and concentration in relationships so y'all can really be on some power couple shit when it comes to secrets all right because libra is in houses of secrets for the both of you it's not the same house however there it is the houses of secrets nonetheless all right so for scorpio it's in the 12th house which pisces rules right so common ground there there's a relatability there it's not something that's forming the pisces and it's not something that's foreign to you either, Scorpio, because it's still a secretive house. It's about keeping certain information private and confidential. You understand what I'm saying? Scorpio, you know all about that. So you two are relatable here. You two are on common ground here. Now, the only difference is it might be some isolation on Scorpio's behalf because 12th house does rule over isolation. And self-renewal, it could also be for self-sabotage as well. So Scorpio, you got to be aware of that. Pisces, you got to be aware of that, of focusing on whether that is happening in the relationship between you two. But nonetheless, Pisces is going to be comfortable with you isolating Scorpio if you should or if you must because they know all about it. It's in their backyard. It's their nature to, to isolate, to get, you know, get their everything in order, their emotions and everything aligned so that they are powerful and knowing. That's how Pisces draw their source for knowing is by isolating and reflecting you know what i'm saying so these are like two peas in the same pod you understand what i'm saying and um there can be some type of financial benefits that come from this as well because pisces has the sun in the eighth house right which rules over secrets as well but it also rules over the management of other people's money we're talking about mortgages we're talking about insurance we're talking about loans we're talking about debt financing stuff like that you understand what i'm saying so now just imagine if you two are on it like a power couple or should i say in business together in some sort of way i've explained this when i talked about what video was that that i did um i forget but it was recent um when i'm talking about how the eighth house extracts from the workforce in order to shift the money over to the 12th house which deals with government relief and you know the allocation of giving to the have-nots by taking from the haves you understand what i'm saying so if y'all are managing money or pisces is managing money effectively in that eighth house area then scorpio you could put some icing on the cake by saying hey look i looked at these grants why is scorpio looking at grants because it represents government relief government relief will afford people business people money because of the plan that they put together that is business oriented right so not only that scorpio rules over the house that the sun is in for pisces which is the eighth so they understand the logic that pisces is focusing on right now and pisces understands the logic logic that scorpio is focusing on right now because it's in their 
natural house. You get where I'm going with this? So you can see how this can benefit. Now, I would say if this one going to be any quarrels, it would be because, I don't know, one of you are more CIA-ish than the other, or one of you are CIA and the other one is FBI, and then it's just like, you know what I mean? Y'all also Mr. and Mrs. Smith shit, but hey, if that's what floats y'all boat and that's what gets y'all rocks off, go for it. I like this shit. Like, I like, even like talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So go for that shit, but... There's still, I guess that's what the tug of war that or the balancing out of things in Libra represents anyway, right? So it's just like, okay, y'all understand that, but y'all have y'all gift going on in each area. Y'all could come to terms, right, about these things. And that's what's there for y'all right now during the Libra season. That's what's afforded to you to be able to come on a common ground and say, look, I push, you pull. You pull, I push type shit. You understand know what, what I'm saying? And make it make teamwork make the dream work you know what i mean that's on y'all um let's get to the planet mercury though so mercury is the sun's secretary all right so wherever the focus is which is in libra for you two right wherever mercury is at and the sign that's expressing mercury's influence is going to have impact on the focus because mercury is always next to the sun and mercury represents processing the information learning and talking so Wherever it's at, which is in Virgo, you're going to be learning and assessing and perfecting and tweaking to make sense of things, making making sure that, making it make sense. You understand what I'm saying? While you're doing these things, Mercury is going to be assisting the focus of the sun being in Libra, which is the balancing of relationships. So let's get back to it. Virgo, the sign, is an expression of assessing things. And you two have different houses that Virgo fall in. Now, for Scorpio, Virgo is in the 11th house, which means that Scorpio's assessments and tweaking and perfecting is going to be for the intent of obtaining corporate revenue, friends, and making dreams come into fruition. Now, just because friends is there it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to obtain them scorpio they might be on the chopping block you might, you will be assessing them with a critical eye having a review and saying man what have you done for me lately or where you at i don't see you you know and it's not that friends in the 11th house sense always have to be there however it is to an extent that says okay you know we got this thing in motion this thing of ours that we do as a group as a collective and it's a new year. Of course, we're going to be under new circumstances, facing new obstacles. Um, but it just seems like you're not into it anymore. It's something we got to talk about. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Mercury is in retrograde, so you might not be that quick to speak about it, um, Scorpio. However, it will be on your mind, and you might just dart off and talk about it when Mercury goes direct. Now, you could share a common ground with your Pisces partner, should your Pisces partner be one of those people that is in the collective of helping to bring your dreams into fruition. And if that is the case, then sure, you'll be assessing them as well. And, um, or should I say, but it makes, it could gel more well because Pisces also has Mercury inside of their seventh house. So if you're their partner in some type of way, you share the common, y'all both share common ground with each other. So if y'all in, to sum it up, right, if y'all are in business together, then this is perfect because y'all will be assessing each other and y'all understand the importance of the obligations that y'all got into with a contractual agreement in the seventh house, whether it's just marriage or being together like that, like that, a common house marriage, or however y'all giving it up, you know what I'm saying? Or if y'all really in business together, or if it's both, y'all in business together and this stuff need to work, you need teamwork, need to make the dream work, y'all may both be having this conversation like, yo, I don't know what's up with such and such. Y'all might be on the same accord and such and such and them is on. You know what I'm saying? And then if we're talking about the stuff that's in the 8th and the 12th house that I talked about with the focus being at, it's just like, yo, we're going to get these finances for these people that we're supposed to be employing and, you know, and, and, and that's supposed to be side by side with us with this. And it's just like, I don't know, we might have to cut some funding or something. And I know that shit sounds sinister, but it is what the fuck it is, man. And this is what the shit be about, yo. You know, but if you got your employees being the best that they could be, and I don't even like to even say employees, but it just is what it is. If y'all the people with the plan, with the master plan, then it is what it is. They fall where they fall, you know, but you can give people raises based upon their performance. Should they still be assisting and helping people's dreams come into fruition? Because in some form or fashion, the two of you are helping their dreams come into fruition, right? So teamwork make the dream work. And this is a strong emphasis 
man, I don't know why I never looked at how Pisces and Scorpio could be such of a power couple until now. This is great. This is I guess I got an epiphany. This is great. Hopefully y'all could put this down and put this together in some type of way that benefits y'all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this just is the way that y'all should go. This is the route that Pisces and Scorpio should go and should have been doing. But I always told y'all that the 8th and the 12th house have a direct relationship to each other in the universe. Especially in states that have taxation. Nations that have taxation. You know what I mean? Um, but that's Mercury, right? So um, let's get to the planet Venus. Now, Venus influences money it influences attraction and it influences harmonious interactions are y'all interacting harmoniously hmm now with the sign being virgo which is expressing you'll be looking at this you'll be analyzing this with critical eyes and not for nothing though it's not the terrible most terrible thing that can happen this can benefit y'all because virgo is a sign of adjusting adapting now it may have more trouble Pisces, you may get more stubbornness from your Scorpio partner because Scorpio is a fixed sign, so they may not be willing to budge because of these um, suggested tweaks that is at hand right now because Pisces is a mutable sign and they're more for that. You know what I'm saying? They're more adaptable. They're more used to that. It's more of their natural element. So you may see some type of friction there or it might just work because you are looking to tweak it to make it better. Well, at least Pisces is going to be looking to tweak things around when it comes to the finances to make the relationship um, better because it's their seventh house. You understand what I'm saying? Now, for Scorpio, Venus is in the 11th house again, of course. But let's say Pisces is looking at this from a romantic perspective or just a marriage perspective. And Scorpio is looking at the uh, expenditures and their attraction levels for bringing in corporate revenue. And y'all are not in business together. So you see where the energy spent can differ and might cause some type of friction, you know? Um, and this is something to look at because when you look at work-life balance and shit, right? You will look at, okay, well, if I got a good home life, then I have a good work life. And if this, if the math ain't mathing, then something got to give in one, whatever area that's not mathing. You know what I mean? So this is what may be on the chop. This is what is on the chopping block. This is what's being looked at. This is what's being scrutinized. This is what's being... Um, looked at with discretion this is what's being you know just looked at with a critical eye to see if there's adjustments that can be made now the 11th house is a fixed house as well so your pisces partner scorpio might not be um might not be cool if the fixed energy that is usually there is what brings in the corporate revenue for you scorpio you understand what i'm saying now again if y'all are together in a corporate area then you understand y'all both understand how this goes but if not you know pisces will still either if they're in the if they're in the corporate world with you or not scorpio pisces still may have some type of friction when it comes to this because fixed energy to a mutable sign might be boring you know and just be like man we're gonna really do this again are we gonna do this again and we're gonna do this again and we're gonna do this again and scorpio might be like yo if it ain't broke we ain't gotta fix nothing chill out you know what i'm saying and pisces might be like all right but you don't understand what's coming the wave that's coming and then i see the future and so we'll be like i see the future too and y'all might have these like cia wrestle all over the place and shit i hope it ends up with sex you know what i'm saying pisces got the sun in the eighth house for sex and scorpio is rules over sex so have at it you know what i'm saying make up afterwards and get back to it you know what i'm saying maybe pisces does have something to say that can assist but i will say this though if there is some type of decrease in the 11th house like i said it might be some troubles then pisces may have something um beneficial for you to listen to scorpio as far as making a change inside of that 11th house you know what i mean um so yeah the attraction levels as well right so if you're in scorpio you're going to be looking at how you can shape yourself to be more attractive to bring in corporate revenues to bring in more friends as well or different friends that can do things for you and as far as bringing dreams into fruition you know what i mean and pisces on the other hand don't get jealous scorpio but pisces is having attraction levels in the seventh house so people are going to be looking to partner with them you understand what I'm saying? It might be chicks too. You know what I mean? So you just got to realize that I'm beautiful and I do what I do. And that's the gift of the gap that I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing, but I'm not. 
I'm just saying it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't go look to go stinging people, Scorpio, because you got to understand maybe they're doing business. Seventh house is about business relationships as well. So maybe Pisces is doing business the same way you're doing business in the 11th house. And therefore, they got to attract some 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 people in too. You know what I'm saying? They got to take pictures where their city is at so they could bring some, you know, some tourists in and people who might want to migrate to the city and set up shopping. You know what I mean? Take advantage of whatever real estate has decreased. If it didn't decrease fully, it's about to. God damn it, I'm on a roll, ain't I? But you get what I'm saying, right? But let's talk about the planet Mars now. The planet Mars influences energy, taking action, protecting what it is that you desire, and it rules over desire, right? So this is where the influence is at. Now, it's in the sign of Gemini. So I would say something that is important. This is always important, but I'm going to put emphasis on it being in Gemini, which is going to be for the next seven months, y'all, is that you get out what you put in is directly related to Mars energy because it's energy. Mars represents energy. So it's, it's as common as ingestion of nutrients that either harm your body or they benefit your body, right? Will have impact on how Gemini is expressed, which is about communication, it's about learning, it's about talking, it's about connecting thoughts and ideas, being ideal at that, and being flexible, being mutable to understand different sides of the coins, right? Now, should you not properly diet this can have a negative impact on how you communicate, the way you communicate, what you communicate. You understand what I'm saying? Especially with Mars being in because Mars can get agitated or get very excited and come across as forceful. So keep this in mind when you're dieting and you're looking to do this type of communication, um, especially when you're in a mutable sign that includes other people. You know, this is a solo planet. This is a solo act. So you have to be mindful to not be so courageous on your own that you forget what house you in, so to speak. Whose house you in? You know what I'm saying? You in Gemini's house. But speaking about houses, you really have two different houses of what the intent and the result is going to be for you two. But at the same, in the same token, Gemini is a common ground sign to where if you're communicating with each other, you can see where, they, where there will either be arguments because of the Mars energy sparring, rah, 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 it's getting you know too hype and not trying to consider each other's ideas, or you have a deep understanding of this, which I give y'all credit for being deep people. So I would say that y'all will and think before you speak and all of that stuff. So you can benefit from that. Um, but y'all have different houses, right? So for Scorpio, Mars is in the eighth house. Gemini is eighth house for Scorpio. So this is where you can capitalize off of where the sun is concentrating in the sign of Libra for relationships with Pisces if y'all communicate with each other, um, Scorpio, because it's in your natural house. You understand what I'm saying? So you might have to speak sex into Pisces. It might be some real freaky stuff going on. Girl six type shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like y'all might be having phone sex out the roof right now. Maybe y'all are distant from each other and that calls for that. Or maybe y'all just having fun, freaky fun, and y'all just want to text and act like different people. And, you know, I spies or whatever the case may be. Carmen San Diego and motherfucking, I don't know, what's a what's a corporate spy? I don't know. Um, 007 over there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just something going on like that. So, you know, I'm just giving you examples of how you could benefit from this energy and how putting energy into yourself is going to have a large impact on these things. If you're inspired to write or if you have desire to write, I'd say do it. I think y'all are dope when it comes to having deep mentalities. So if y'all uh, have the ability to put some of that stuff in a content form, even if you got to get other people to do it, because when you look at it, it's the sign of relationship season. You got an 11th house energy going on, Scorpio. 12th house energy included, right? You got um, foreign lands over there. Uh, Pisces is dealing with 7th house energy. There's a lot of opportunity to get other people involved so you can delegate the responsibilities. You feel me? Make things easier on yourself. You don't always have to do things yourself, especially during the season. I'm telling y'all. It's all important. It's all right in front of y'all for y'all to benefit off of something like that. So if you got some deep, dark mystery thoughts that's been festering in y'all minds, Get it out there. Even if you just got to put it in 
If you got to do a little small YouTube, TikTok video that just states it, or you got to make a picture in Photoshop, and you know, a picture worth a thousand words, somebody see that and be like, yo, we need to put me in like a movie out of that, or a book or something, you know what I'm saying? Be like, you know what, we probably going to make a web series, something, you know? And that's how you get it started, that's how you spark it off. This is what this Mars energy could do, y'all do it right, you know what I'm saying? I'm really, really enthused about y'all, like, on some real shit, get in the comment section, expand on this, y'all, I'm feeling this.